And hello to you from a city that's never short of style. I'm talking, of course, about the French capital, Paris. We're at the Pat de Pass. My name is Derek Ray, and with me is my commentary partner, Lee Dixon, and all set to bring you live action from Liga Uber Eats, coming right up. It's Paris Saint-Germain facing Saint-Étienne. And the PSG team looks like this. Kaylon Navas is the goalkeeper. Marquinhos plays alongside Presnel Kimpembe at the back. Marco Verratti starts alongside Idrissa Gay in central midfield. And up front, Kylian Mbappe plays together with Neymar. Well, this is the team that Saint-Étienne will go with. Would you call it 4-5-1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4-2-3-1, really. Two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them and then a lone striker with the number 10 just behind him. Wanted to keep it but couldn't. And in with a real chance. Will he? And there it is. The opening goal. 1-0 and they'll feel they deserve it. Well, as we can see, if a striker is free in the box and the great ones just stand still, they know chances will come in that position and he wasn't disappointed. Well, I think the coach can feel the game slipping away here. He's showing his frustration on the sidelines. Now Verratti, Neymar, Di Maria, and a chance to level it, it's gone in, a goal for PSG beyond the goalkeeper to square things up. Well here's the replay and the passing move is almost unstoppable. The movement is key for me. And you have to say, with the finish to grace any game, lovely, calm, classy strike right there. This looks threatening. He's in position. Mbappe! Sizzling piece of goalkeeping from Rufier. PSG very much controlling play in the last 15 minutes, Derek. And with these big opportunity. High degree of difficulty to hit. Headed on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, it's all about timing. You've got to wait for the ball to come down, and he's very, very unlucky. Well, he'd be disappointed about that end product, but he'd be happy they're creating a chance or two. So the final whistle, and the two teams evenly matched. Lee, your thoughts on PSG's side of the equation? Yeah, obviously not the best result from their perspective. On paper, you certainly felt they were favourites for the three points today. But there's no easy games in this league and they'll just have to switch their focus to the next match now. I think there was always going to be a pretty good chance we would reflect on Kylian Mbappe and his performance. Let's do that, Lee. Well, he got the equaliser today. He was pivotal in the way his team played, creating a lot of chances. He'd be disappointed he didn't get more, but the chances are being created, which is the main thing.